Uh, it's a new vlog. Guys, welcome. Go to football today. Enjoy. Best YouTube characters are going to Top Gun. Go to it.
training session killed it literally a uh, few goals playing outfield again I did not forget what to do it's like comes naturally to me out for the back goal so easy um, and yeah I really want to talk about well I haven't mentioned it yet um, this uh, kid who sits near me at Tottenham um, we got talking me and my dad to him and uh, he wants to play he was interested in power chair football because uh, he's heard of uh, one of the charities that's involved with it and he really wanted to try it out you know we, we've said we said have you ever tried it you know come down on Sunday to training and try it out have a look see if you like it or not so yeah this kid came down 16 year old quite shy to begin with like like I remember being when I first joined um, it's that you know what I mean when you're that age like it's completely new to you see that many other people in wheelchairs it's like well hold on <laughs> I'm not the only one and then you just feel that eventually you get like connection with people like you relate to the people you know because obviously you do people in your, in your similar situation um, yeah so we got him to try out a chair he loved it hopefully we'll be back and then be, become part of the development team um, because at the club we, like over the years players have come and gone you know a lot but most of them you know started like like this kid or I did just randomly through someone else who knew um, and then just became part of your life uh, that's just how it is so yeah I'm glad to have introduced this kid to the sport my recruit, my young recruit scouting if you will <laughs> it's the first player I've actually introduced fully myself to the, to the sport there's other people I've, I've, I've spoken to um, with disabilities that, um, about the sport you know that would have liked to have played it um, but classification is tough so if you're too able-bodied, you're too able, you can't play basically. You've got to be a certain level of disabled. It's quite, well, it's not funny, but you know what I mean? I see the funny side. You've got to laugh. 
what can you do? Um, but yeah, because there's so many, so many different disabilities, so that's why. And it's got to be inclusive. It's got to be an inclusive sport, to some extent. Like a lot of Paralympic sports, there is classification. But yeah, anyway, yeah. So I got this kid to come down and play, try out a chair. So that's great news for the sport, for the club. So yeah, hopefully he sticks around because some some people don't quite commit. I've seen that in the past, um, and it's frustrating because you because you know how great it is from from the inside. You know what it is to be a Parachute football player, and I've been part of it for so many years now. It's just like second second family, second nature. I said it before in so many videos, but yeah. So this is probably the last vlog before I go away. Um, I've got to do that podcast to, still today or tomorrow. I do need the haircut before I go as well. Hopefully going to get that done today. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother vlogging that because you've seen my haircut a million times. And I don't go for a new style really, do I? <laughs> Just short on the sides. Simple. Long on top. That's it. Um, I'm going to Italy for... 10 days we're driving down to Milan and Lake Garda which is like that kind of area so further north like Lake Como, Lake Garda with those lakes um, so yeah it's like a nice little outing meet up with some family out there that I have in Milan and some are coming from down south to meet us in Milan just to be nosy, just to be typical family in it wherever we go this is like like at least 10 of us, it's like the whole squad bit intimidating for other people I guess, no. But that's how it is with family, you just you can't travel on your own. It's never been just four of us on holiday. Ever. And then we're going down in the summer again to the south, but we're flying down in the south. In the summer. To the south. Does that make any sense? <laughs> uh and then when I get back I wanna watch the new Avengers what's it called? Endgame? Yeah. Uh it comes out on the twenty fifth of April but I'll be in Italy for that then I'll be back don't know the exact date but yeah I'm going to do a lot of vlogs in Italy I won't be uploading while I'm out there because I'm not bringing my laptop screw that it's too much to just carry around but yeah that's all, all that's going on at the moment exciting times exciting times for the sport and for me because we're going on holiday yay holidays are just the best and then they, they, they end too quickly, but it won't be long before summer's actually here. But yeah, it's going to be two days of hardcore driving down to Milan. Yeah, one night, stop over in France or somewhere, Germany. But I'd, ra I'd rather stop in like Germany than France. Just prefer the food and the, the service, if I'm honest. Uh, not, I'm not, you know. But yeah, speaking of France, the, the Notre Dame, isn't it? It's, it's on fire. That's not good. I saw it the other day, I was like, what? That's like the oldest church, I guess. It's that like historical for France. Notre Dame. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. It's on fire. Hopefully that's not too bad. It's just not pleasant to see that sort of thing. Like some, like, monument. It's a, what, monument? It's not a monument, it's like something that, if you go to France, you know, you see the Eiffel Tower, you see Notre Dame, you know. It's one of them things. But yeah, hopefully that's all okay in the end. Hopefully it doesn't damage the building permanently. It's just not nice to see. But yeah, guys, that's it from me. This is vlog 31, quite a short vlog. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed me at training the other day. Been busy with these vlogs, but use this holiday as a bit of a, a break from all the editing and the uploading, because that is stressful. The filming I love. The editing I do love, but then there's a lot of it. The more you film, the more editing you got to do. But thank you guys. I'm Louise 21 Happy Easter. Have a lovely holiday. Regardless of what you celebrate. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. As always, keep it real. Keep it 100. Do what you love every single day. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Just focus. Like, do what you got to do. Don't worry about what people are saying or thinking about you because they're going to talk either way. Haters going to hate. As Taylor Swift once said, <laughs> screw the haters. Alright, I'm out there. Peace.